Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be talking about something quite sensitive so if any snowy flakes are in the audience there please head out now. <laughs> so what's happening is we're going to talk about some comments and clear some things up regarding the Radfords because whilst I don't talk about this a great deal we you know, anybody that follows me, I'm sure you know what is the matter with the Radfords. And today we're going to go through that because I feel like there is a fair number of people out there who don't actually know. And that's quite concerning because that's the type of people we're dealing with is ones that follow them blindly and think that they're a lovely family and you know and they work hard don't you know but not quite as many seem to know exactly what I'm about to say so stay with me this is very very important information and um it will clear one or two things up so in my comments I did a video as you know about the Radfords the other day and in my comments I had this so this person said just can't understand how nobody acknowledges that Noel essentially groomed Sue I don't know why this family is glorified so absolutely perfectly put I don't know why this family is glorified either to be honest and spot on Noel did groom sue and well worse than that he did worse than that let's not beat around the bush he did worse than that and we're going to get into that in a minute but the reply to this comment is where i want to go with this video and what was said was that's slanderous at the radfords now it's not slanderous because it's true and if it's true then it's you know you know what i mean right but this goes to show that some of the fans don't actually realize that it is actually true and it's not just people saying things so looking at their instagram i picked out this comment as well and um the the initial comment okay it is a little bit crude but again it's not entirely not true it's the p word right but this was the re reply to that you need to be careful what you say you could find yourself being done for libel why on earth are you following them when you obviously don't like them so again this person seems to think that what is being said is not true because you know <laughs> the thing is right I'm going to take you through some things, right? And um, strap yourself in. Make sure you don't fall off. These are the key facts, okay? Sue is was born in 1975, March 1975. Noel was born in December 1970. There's uh, about a four and a half year age gap between them. Their first child was born on May 1989, okay? So, I know a lot of you know the figures, but if you delve into them a little bit more, it is a little bit more than perhaps you realised, which makes Sue 14 years of age when she gave birth she was only just 14 she was in fact uh she was six weeks after her 14th birthday so you see how close she was to 13 there and noel at the time that child was born was 18 and a half years old he was five months after his 18th birthday in fact right so you see there that it's not only just 18 and it's not <laughs> right it's, it's very icky um so i know i shouldn't 
be working all this out but i just want to give you a, a, a little glimpse into just how bad this situation actually is not it's not just throwaway comments that people make if you d take nine months away from the, the birth of the child that makes it here are the figures okay sue was 13 and a half years of age okay she was 13 and a half years of age approximately at the time she got pregnant no okay no was 17 and three quarters he was three months away from being 18 and she was 13 and a half right so he was almost 18 and she was as close to being 12 as being 14 you, you see what i'm saying right so <laughs> When people say that it's not true or you're going to be done for life, it is actually true. What they're saying is actually true because, by definition, it's true, right? And the people that follow these, if you know this information, then what the hell? And if you glorify this family, what the hell? I mean, even more so, Channel 5, what the hell, right? And then this comment, now this, I know you're all waiting for this. If you have been following the Radfords recently, you'll know that this comment was made by Sue. And yes, of course, I'm going to address it. This comment was made on the Instagram at the Radford family. Can you explain how Sue was pregnant at 13 and Noel was 18? The maths is hard to deny. Right. So, Sue's response to this was unbelievable. Unbelievable. I mean, I can't... Don't, even if you are the staunchest of Radford fans, I don't think you can, you can actually... I don't think you can defend what she said. So this is the reply to that. I don't think anybody would would be happy, would they, you idiot. But it happens, and guess what? I wasn't the only girl at school to be pregnant at this age either. There's an interesting fact for you. People like you make me sick. So basically, right, there's this is um there's two issues here. One, she's um she's saying that she was not the only 13 year old to be pregnant at the school where she went which is quite a statement i mean was them um, there, there must have been flooded with the hallways these um pregnant 13 year old girls at her school i'm sure they would be <laughs> glad to um to know that their school has been um very much uh disgraced by by an ex pupil um yeah so there's that and the other obvious thing here is that she is saying that well she's not basically she firstly she's ignoring the fact or forgetting the fact that what people are actually talking about is not the fact that she was 13 people are not saying wow you're pregnant at 13 you're a whatever you know they're not saying that and i don't think anybody would say that if it was just a 13 year old being impregnated by another 13 year old or 14 year old but when it Noel was nearly 18 at the time and this is the the, the issue and she is forgetting this she's not addressing that she's she doesn't seem to understand that that is the part that people are upset about not the fact that she got pregnant at 13 that wasn't that's not the issue here it's but the thing is that she was also she also doesn't seem to understand that 
it's just wrong. No matter which way you look at it, it's wrong, isn't it? I mean, it's, it's, it is wrong. And the fact that they went on then to have more and more babies, more and more children, and spend the rest of their lives together doesn't actually make it any less wrong than it is. You know, it it they seem to think that because they are happily married that what Noel did wasn't wrong. It, it's like, this is how grooming actually works. You get, you groom them into the, your way of thinking and this is the result of it. I mean, she doesn't seem to realise that she's been groomed and then had this happen to her. So I don't, I don't know. But, yeah, she not forgetting the fact that she is slandering the the school all over the internet saying that you know she there was plenty of 13 year olds uh, running about um pregnant at school at that school it's an interesting fact isn't it the final one was this and it just goes to show what the mentality of people are and this person says back then it was different to how it is now are you that dumb if you don't like them get the f off their stuff and grow up (laughs) grow up who says grow up people i i don't know how young this person is or or if it's an adult i don't know but it was different back then so i i'm i could have i could have sworn that the the laws you know the the age of consent has been 16 since oh, since before my time anyway um since the, the early the early 20th century at least off the top of my head so i'm not quite sure where they get that information from it was still illegal then Okay, and this is the sort of people that need to actually understand because at the moment they are getting glorified by well all all their fans and the media. They are getting interviews in the papers and they're selling the story to the papers. They sell their TV show to Channel Five. They live off their kids based on the fact that they have all these kids and yet he is what he is and nothing gets said and channel 5 they don't mind do they i mean why would channel 5 mind (laughs) they must know (laughs) surely they must know (sighs) you know my personal feeling is that these should not have an avenue on mainstream tv because it's worse i mean at the moment We talk a lot about family vloggers on YouTube and that being bad. But these have a platform on mainstream media, on mainstream TV. And it's just mind-blowing to me that they'll be paid God knows how much for their show, which enables them to live. I know, Noel, you work hard in your little pie shop, you know. But um, I'm sure that the majority of the money comes from things like TV shows and and stuff like that. And if you didn't have all the kids and if you didn't um, take advantage of uh, your, I'm going to say poor wife, but, you know, I don't think many people think it was a poor way but she did get groomed back in the day so you know but yeah sue you can stop this you can make all this go away you can just stop selling your story and stuff like that anyway i hope this hasn't been too intense i did give you a little warning if you couldn't handle it you know off you go but i hope this has been okay I have more videos on these coming up because they are one of the most problematic families on YouTube and in the media.
if you have been following me for a while, you'll know that I, at one point or other, I had the um, brainwave to to write a story, write a book. It's kind of my life, a life story, life book thing, right? For the final time ever, I am going to put it on sale for those of you who do not currently have a copy and would like to purchase a copy. You too can be like Christopher Ingham and have a copy of my book. There you go. It's only going to be available strictly until the end of March. If you would like to have an insight into certain aspects of my own life, uh, you can do so. And if if not, that's fine too. And so link is in the description. So please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more of these because let's get it sorted. Let's get them taken down. Until next time, have a good day and I'll see you again. Bye bye.